My name is uh, Monsignor Dan Ganchert, and I come from a little part of our diocese down in the southwest corner, Gratiot. Sometimes I like to tell people that when they travel through there, I hear about it, that a car went through town. And uh, I come from St. Joseph's Parish, a uh, wonderful experience from early on, really. And, and I'm happy to say, in a small parish like ours, which would be certainly less than 200 families all the time I was there, in the last 50 years, we've had five priests ordained for our diocese, and uh, currently I'm uh, working with uh, one of them in the diocese, and it's a great joy. And certainly pray for more vocations from St. Joseph's Parish in Gratiot. Over the, the years, I think uh, certainly my parents, my family, people in the parish, sometimes in a small community, as everybody knows, you get to know everybody. And I'd say to people even maybe when I was maybe, what, first grade or second grade or third grade that I was going to be a priest and they'd say uh, well that's great I'll pray for you and the only reason I mention that is I I wonder maybe today and I hope it's the same but oftentimes if people tell others they're going to be a priest I don't know if they hear all of the encouragement they need and uh, we'd like to uh, make sure that our lives or at least my life as a priest is encouraging uh, like the idea that uh, I noticed in the lives of my pastors when I was young and in the other priests that would come. We'd have missionaries come to the parish and my parents would frequently invite them up for dinner. And so I'd hear about their stories from being in far off places and how exciting it was. And I picked up that excitement, that uh, enthusiasm, that real joy of priesthood from them and you know I hope that that's what people pick up from us these days because sometimes it is uh, uh, maybe uh, a lot of things happening in each and every parish and where priests have many duties and full schedules at times people might look at them and say I wonder if I want to have a full life like that meaning uh, too many things happening and I just must say from my own experience, it's always been a balance, really. People have been able to help me live out my priesthood in a way that has been uh, really happy. Happy to be able to uh, witness to my faith, to, to be able to stand for something, to stand for someone, to be able to speak about Jesus Christ in a way, hopefully, that others can, in uh, some way uh, recognize him in me, hopefully. I, I want that to happen. But knowing that, uh, you know, Christ is in everyone, I draw a lot of strength and uh, encouragement from the, the people for whom I, I work, those people I serve. And that's a, another big aspect of my priesthood, my, my vocation story. I, I believe I saw in priests from early on how they served others and as a matter of fact how that in turn seemed to uh, in their giving they received it was so true we hear it all the time but it seemed to be very evident and I was attracted to that and uh, that they would be uh, uh, community builders good connectors I like the, the fact that uh, priests seemed to know a lot of people people that were Catholic, people who were not Catholic. They were uh, kind of a, a part of the community that most everyone related to. And in that sense, helped make a community stronger as well as the parish. And uh, that's something I like to see. And uh, I think that attracted me as well. The commitment uh, that I saw a uh, priest being willing to persevere, hang in there, uh, give uh, of their time and talent, resources, their energy, and to uh, just uh, patiently cope with the unexpected. Uh, very impressive. It seemed as though uh, the priests I've known were grounded, peaceful. I think uh, probably comes from their prayer life. And so uh, hopefully uh, it was uh, for me, uh, an incentive to also grow in, in my prayer life, to still be growing in my prayer life. And uh, to be a, a, a person who most of the time 
more than by anything I say. Maybe it's by just uh, who I try to be or how I live that others are able to uh, recognize Christ, possibly hear his voice in their life. And uh, for me, I think that's true. I don't know if I remember a whole lot necessarily of what priests have said to me over the years, time in the seminary, um, time since I've been ordained, the priests with whom I've worked. But I tend to have images and memories of, of who they were, how they lived, what they did. And uh, that's uh, a lasting uh, part of my ongoing uh, uh, database, I think, of uh, good things I draw on to help me uh, grow in my priesthood today. And I've been ordained 34 years now, and I must say it's gone awfully fast, and I enjoy it as much as ever, and it has truly been a fulfilling life, and one that I would certainly ask uh, and encourage anyone, if the thought has crossed their mind, to uh, be willing to take a closer look, talk to someone about it, pray about it, and uh, see if that's what God is calling them to, because God will call us all to that which makes us, uh, makes us happy. And uh, I'm happy that uh, the vocation to the priesthood has been uh, my calling and uh, look forward to, to the years to come.